Good morning, guys. Uh, this one hopefully is going to be a quick one, but I just wanted to come in real quick and uh, make a video talking about the toxicity <clears throat> toxicity of uh, some of these Facebook law enforcement pages. It's quite incredible to me. Uh, the page that we're going to be talking about today is going to be this Texas Sheriff's Deputies. And uh, I, I think I'm just going to get right down to it. The reason that we're talking about this page today is because this is going to be a case of stolen memes. Uh, this page has been found to take memes made by other Facebook creators and content makers and stuff and removing their watermarks uh, and then posting these memes as their own. And when the people on this page are called out about removing people's watermarks and uh, claiming other people's memes as their own, they absolutely lose <laughs> lose their shit and act like a bunch of fucking 12-year-olds. Uh, so this one that we're talking about is going to be primarily about me, but obviously I'm not the only one who they're stealing memes from. So the funny thing is all of these posts right here are about me. Uh, they, I triggered the absolute fuck out of these people because I called them out for, I appropriately called them out for stealing memes. Uh, so I've got the, uh, oh shoot, I went ahead and closed it. The meme in question is this one right here. I was scrolling through Facebook the other day and I saw this on their page and it's, you know, it's this picture that I posted a few days ago. Um, anybody could have gotten this picture. They could have made this meme, but I made this particular meme and it's, you know, a picture of a dude pointing a gun behind him saying, you know, he had his back to the officer. He wasn't a threat. And I thought, oh, somebody used my exact same idea and made a meme out of it. That's cool. But then I looked at it and I was like, wait a minute, there's a typo in this meme. Uh, the cap, the H on the second uh, sentence is not capitalized and it should have been capitalized. Did I make that exact same typo on my meme? So I went to my Instagram account and I found the meme that I made and it's right here. Um, this is my meme. <clears throat> this is literally my meme. Like somehow they removed my watermark and are pretending that this meme belongs to them. So that's when I made a comment. Uh, I said, you, you literally used my meme and removed my watermark. That's dirty and dirty as fuck. It even has my typo on it. Um, you know, if, if I were, well, then they, they replied, they said something like, you know, we always give credit when we can give credit. We didn't know it was yours. Chill the fuck out and all this other stuff. Uh, and I just kept replying, no, it's dirty. It's dirty. It's dirty. That all they had to do is say, bro, I'm sorry. I didn't realize it was yours. I'll go ahead and put yours up and I'll tag you in it. Um, but that's not what they chose to do. Mind you, this is a Facebook page that has a whole team of ad admins with a bunch of goofy fake names like ghost and stuff like that. Um, rather than do that, they continued to call me out for complaining about them stealing my memes. And that has led to a complete meltdown on their page. Uh, and they've made no less than one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight posts about me. And the funny thing about the posts they're making about me is they're actually about themselves. Um, you know, like they're this one right here. Oh, you're offended. How does it feel to be so weak that mere words hurt you? Uh, these are the people that are hurt by me accusing them of stealing memes, which they 100% did. Uh, there's absolutely no question about the fact that they stole my memes and then they're turning around trying to pretend that I'm the bad guy. Uh, the most hilarious thing about this is that this is the kind of stuff that I see on the street as a police officer. When you catch somebody that's stealing and you, you say, look, that's not yours. You can't have that. They come up with like every excuse in the book. I didn't know it was stolen. Um, you know, someone gave me this, this, this guy, the guy walked away. He's the one that stole it. This is the kind of bullshit that they do. And then they try to deflect and blame and all this other stuff. Um, this is toxic. This is insane. Um, not only are they, they're posting memes saying they're offended, but they, they keep posting shit <laughs> like it's been a fun night, but how can we find a solution to this? Oh, uh, this guy. Oh, you don't like me. You mad, bro. Um, there's, and there's been some others where it's just in text and it's kind of funny because it just demonstrates how stupid they are. Let's see. 
So the reason I haven't been on in a long time is because I'm in command now. But it's been, but damn, it's been a while since I've been on this page. So anyway, who's who has been following us knows we take care of cops. Couldn't possibly care about a carpet bagger. Uh, he's talking about me. He doesn't know what a carpet bagger is because I have never packed up my stuff and traveled to another state. I've been here where I am the entire time. Um, this one where he's like, oh, I heard somebody made mad is mad at me, but I don't care. Uh, yes, you, you obviously you do care. You're triggered as fuck because you have made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven posts about me. Now, the funny thing is I'm not the only one that noticed that they're stealing memes. Uh, one of the other people that noticed they're stealing memes is poorly made police memes. He is a giant, uh, police content creator on Facebook makes a lot of memes is literally his name. I also know for a fact that his page is monetized and, uh, this is one of the ways that he pays his bills. Um, this is a significant portion of his income. So when he makes a meme, and he posts it to Facebook, he's counting on that interaction. And when people remove his watermarks and post them on their page, they're literally taking money out of his pocket. They're literally reducing his ability to feed his family. So he went and here are some examples of posts from Texas sheriff's deputies where they literally removed his watermark and reposted his meme, the exact same meme that he posted. Um, and when you call them out for stealing these memes, they pretend that you're the bad guy. Uh, this is hilarious. This is the absolute peak of stupidity. This is some of the most toxic social media stuff I have ever seen in my life. Um, and it's absolutely embarrassing that there are people going around saying they represent the law enforcement community that would behave in such a way. Um, that's all I want to say about this. I'm, I'm getting, I was, I was doing a thing where every single thing that they posted, I was resharing it and tagging them in it <clears throat> just to troll them because it's hilarious. And it's hilarious to see how freaking butthurt they get about this stuff. Um, but, I think I'm going to stop soon uh, because it's getting tedious. And to be honest, the stuff that they post isn't that funny. It's just mean and angry and toxic. And uh, I, I don't I don't enjoy doing that kind of stuff. So it's going to be back to a regular programming for me very soon. But I don't know. I might drag this on a little bit longer. We'll see. Uh, I just want to point out when there's juveniles and there's bad actors, I think that we need that's what we need to do as cops. Point out the bad activity. That's what I'm doing. That's it for today. Talk to you later.